Hello everyone, in this video I will show you our new product and you can see uh, this is King Kone B24M uh, this M means most fit output last video I have introduced you B24 relay controller and this controller just made by most fit it's a new version and it also made by ESP32 S3 and used for home assistant by ESP Home and also support the KCS V3 firmware and easy use by Home Assistant by M MQTT Auto Discover and use for Apple HomeKit and support Luxa Mini Server and also you can write your own code source code by Arduino IDE or you can use by ESP IDF development tool and also you can use Micro Python so in this video I will show you this controller hardware details and how it works with a different application uh, just a different software solution such as Tuya Tuya app and the King Kong Color Server and the Home Assistant and the KCS web page okay let's look at the hardware details firstly uh, you can see this is King Kong B24M and that M means the MOSFET so you can see uh, this terminal is removable that is MOSFET output uh, this is 8 channel, 8 channel, 8 channel and every 8 channel you will, you will see when DC the common line is DC the DC can connect with a 12 or 24 volt DC so this, two, this 8 channel output used by 1 DC this 8 channel output used by 1 DC so every channel have a MOSFET used by 10 ampere max current but make sure because the terminal uh, is support max 10 ampere so make sure that totally of 8 channel uh, to get uh, less than 10 ampere because this one screw uh, just uh, one terminal uh, support max 10 ampere so this one is the output and you can see it here that free GPL and this one you can see also have a free GPL just this free GPL have pull up resistance and this GPL have just connect with the ESP32 pin, pin directly uh, without any pull up resistance and this you can see that USB-C cable for download the firmware for ESP32 S3 and the internet port and this extend antenna and you can see that ESP32 antenna and also you can see it here uh, this have a Tuya module Wi-Fi antenna at here so if you install your power distribution box you can use the extended Wi-Fi antenna and if you install you, you want to install easy you can see you just use this uh, this antenna and fix by this uh, screw at here okay and you can see uh, the top of this button uh, this is an aluminium shell and you can see the power 12 to 24 volt DC and the GPL and these two button just the ESP32 download and the ESP32 reset button and the green is the LED power LED at here and this one you can see for channel analog input uh, this have used by 16 bit ADC so two channel also used for voltage and the two channel used for current and this one is IS485 interface A and B and this one is digital input uh, 24 digital input uh, that is uh, common for ground 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 and this just used by dry contact signal so this have a long distance current uh, used for max uh, 300 meet no problem uh, you can use C85 network cable or you can use any cable for just dry contact signal connect with the digital input uh, such as the wall switch and the switch button you can also connect at here or some uh, dry contact sensor you can connect with it here so you can see uh, this is OLC, OLED display and the shield the Wi-Fi and the internet IP address and also shield temperature sensor and the humidity sensor are date on the screen if you have enabled in KCS V3 firmware and this one you can see the red LED that is 6 that is 24 channel output indicate LED indicate uh, just for 1 to 24 and this yellow is Tuya network state and this one green is power and this button used by Tuya config network or you can clear Tuya date press this button at here okay so you can see this is the 
in front, and this is back. Also, install support install on the Ding Rail in your power distribution box. Okay, let's look at how it works uh, in our software. I can connect with the Ethernet cable uh, by here. And this one, you can see I have connected a DC12 power supply for testing. And also you can use the 24 DC and uh, just connect with this Re removable terminal. That will be easy. And then I power on. Power on, you can see uh, this is the power. And I have already downloaded the KCS V3 firmware by this USB-C cable. So you can see that will show the wheelcar information on the LED display. That shows the Ethernet IP address. And Wi-Fi and the Tuya, you can see the Tuya is online. But I think uh, you can connect with this. This is Tuya Wi-Fi antenna. Okay, so this you can see that is the B24M is running. Okay, let's look at my computer. This is B24M, and you can see the description and the hardware details. And it should in our page, and ESP32 pin define, ESP home YAML file, and the Arduino source code, and the KCS V3 firmware all at here. And you can see what is inside of this container. You can see uh, top PCB board and bottom PCB board, two board uh, used by B16 core board, and you can see uh, this is a MOSFET, you can see the big MOSFET chip for every output, uh, you can see the max is 10 ampere. And this one you can see, because that have RTC, a DS3231 RTC chip, high quality chip at, on this board. So you can see this is a battery socket. If you want uh, power off, we'll save the clock, you can install this battery. And you can see this is MOSFET, and this is S2C extend the chip and this is most fit and also we can look at the PCB board uh, this is PCB board design this one is B24M you can see B24M and this one you can see this B B24 so B24M and B24 container all functions is same just the output is two different parts uh, this one you can see use most fit most fit at the back of the PCB and this one that's used by this relay on the PCB. So you can see the size, 232, and this one, uh, 214. So this is smaller, the most fit version is smaller. We can also look at the 3D mode, and you can see this is the top PCB. And this one, you can see uh, at the back, PCB back, there are many most fit at here. And also this is B24, we can look at the 3D mode, uh, that's just have a relay. This is relay, just connect uh, with your load directly for big current. And this one, just for MOSFET, for DC load. And uh, this relay, relay version, you can not only use DC load, and, but also you can use AC load. But the B24 use MOSFET only for DC load. So this is the difference. Okay, let's back to my computer, and you can see in our form, that have a B24M. You can see this Arduino source code and the home assistant YAML file uh, without Tuya or with Tuya. So have a different YAML file you can download it and directly to use. And you can see this is ESP32 IO pin file. And uh, uh, this in our form have some different uh, source code and firmware. And also you can download KCS V3 firmware in our form. And now you can see, let's look at our this one, fresh. This is KCS V3 index web page that have showed the B24M firmware version and the Ethernet IP address and some Mac. And also you can look at this import. And the import you can see some different setting uh, for reverse the level for high level or low level for import. And this one you can see the output uh, that is 24 channel output. Uh, sets a different mo work mode, hold on or delay, or out of or interlock mode. Uh, by this one, you can see uh, 24 output, you can set max 12 group of interlock. Maybe you will use for cotton and then use for motor. So, two output will use by one interlock group. And you can see this is sensor. The sensor you can connect with the different sensors uh, temperature sensor or temperature and humidity sensor and the ice crossy sensor or ice void sensor. 
So the total you can connect with the 32 sensors. I think it's enough for you to use. And this one you can see the monitor. You can see the state should a different protocol have uh, enabled or disabled. So you can see I have used Tuya mobile phone application. Later I will show you the demo. And the King County Cloud Server, KC Cloud means King County Cloud Server, and MQTT HA that means use Home Assistant by MQTT Auto Discovery Function and Apple Home Kit and Lock Sound Assistant. And you can see it here, uh, that's, this, this is digital output. You can see turn on, one, two, three, four, five, and turn all on, and all off, and all on, and all off. And also you can see that's a digital input one. So if I shot for digital input one with ground, and you can see uh, this is digital input one and this is ground. So if I shot for these two points, you can see in KCS web page, that will be show green. You can see show green. Uh, that will be turned back. So this can monitor the dry contact signal sensor uh, state. And let's look at uh, this if DDT. Uh, the if DDT you can set by different if condition and then command. It's very powerful and just uh, make your idea and make your project. This if DDT not need internet. It work locally without internet. So if internet disconnected, the if DDT also running in ESP32 CPU inside. And this is network, you can see, uh, the network of Ethernet, of Wi-Fi, of GSM. If you have connected with KingConnect G1 4G module, so you can use short message or voice call function for FTT by this B24M controller. And this protocol, you can see, that is very powerful at here, generate, and you can see KingConnect Cloud Server, whether disable or enable, and MQTD for Home Assistant, MQTD for your own cloud server, and HTTP, and TCP, and UDP, and IS485, Modbus, or King Kony HA board, all showed at here. And you can see, I have enabled the King Kony cloud server. So you can see, in King Kony cloud server, use our web service, you can use mobile phone or compute. Uh, visit this King Kony web service web page, and you can in anywhere just use by internet to remote country. You can see, turn on relay one, turn on relay two, turn on relay three. Uh, maybe you, you can see the output, not because it's without relay. So this you can see, I have turn on three channel of output, and also you can see the input state will be feedback from the uh, in, uh, from internet. You can see. If I shut the digital input one, you can see digital input one. So the Kinkoni Cloud Server web service will show the state. And if I shut for the turn, uh, second, you can see that will be turned green. So this is monitored and controlled by the internet. And also you can see the analog input, uh, analog sensor. You can see the state at here. Okay, and you can see uh, this is Kinkoni Cloud. And this one, you can see. Home Assistant for MQTT, you just enable this auto discovery function and import your device name and your MQTT Moscow IP address and port and the username and the password. Now I can log in by my Home Assistant dashboard and click setting and click device and click device and you will see this at here that have a B24M. Uh, actually, I'm not config any code in Home Assistant. In configuration YAM file. Just click, you can see, uh, B24M. You can see these three output have in turn on. So you can see, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can see the controller is work with a different application at the same time. And also you can see the analog input and the digital input, uh, all hardware resources have integrated to Home Assistant automatically. So it will be very easy. And you can see, I can turn off, turn off, turn on, turn on. Okay, and this is Home Assistant, so that will be very easy. And uh, I will also show you this Tuya, uh, because you can see the monitor, you can see the Tuya also is connected. So you can use your mobile phone, Android phone, or iPhone, iPad, you can use the Tuya, or Smart Life application, uh, remote country, anywhere. Okay, let's look at, uh, this is Smart Life. And you can see, uh, this is B24M. I can log in the web page, 
and you can see uh, this one eight channel have turned on and also you can see I can turn off eight off seven off and six off and five off you can see uh, this can control remote control by my Toya mobile phone 24 turn on 24 uh, turn on 24 at here and turn off and this also shows the 24 channel digital input and you can see I can use my twice and short for digital input one you can see digital input one is turn red and digital input two turn red and three is turn red so this can monitor the sensor state and you will see every channel input you can see default name input one input two and you can press and you can rename it remote remote rename by your sensor sensor name and also the switch you can see the switch one you can press the text you can rename by yourself at here so i just cancel so this is Toya mobile phone application remote country by internet and now you can see this protocol and also you can see the customer size protocol used for FDDT and you can define different protocol TCP UDP or HTTP S485 for if condition or then command in FDDT system and the Apple HomeKit also you can enable uh, which one output and input and analog in sensor you can uh, add to Apple HomeKit application and just at, at the last you just enable it so you can use this code to add to your iPhone or iPad for Apple HomeKit and this you can see the Luxon mini server and Luxon integration is also very easy you just uh, input your Luxon IP address and the Luxon port so you just use by Luxon config uh, the application and then config uh, work with the B24M and this is the UDP command protocol at here and this one you can see this Tuya uh, maybe we will have make a different Tuya UI, UI interface we will update at here uh, maybe we will have one controller and have different Tuya UI application so we will update in future at here and this system you can see the RTC I have said this board have an RTC chip so you can uh, set the RTC clock and date and at here and also you can see you can set the username and the password of the login system and reset the board and restore the factory setting at here so this is the KCS v3 firmware uh, this is very powerful and the controller also work with a different protocol if you have any questions you can leave a message to us thanks for watching